<laughs> Come on, let's go. Hey guys, so today we are down here at the creek. Um, it's about, oh, about a half mile from my house here in Costa Rica. Really pretty place. And I wanted to share with you guys kind of a review of my other Dave Beck knife, which is the ceramic. Um, I've been doing some videos on the WSK, which I absolutely love, but since I got the ceramic back in June of 21, it's been my EDC. I've carried it every day. And I really was wanting to wait for a while before I started talking about it. I felt that it's better to have a review from somebody who's actually been using the knife for a while. And so anyway, this is my ceramic, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Somebody up in the northeast of the United States is going to say, you're not saying that correctly. But anyway, it's ceramic, Saranac, I'm not sure. I'm from the Ozarks. So anyway, um, the first thing I want to do and go over on this is the specs of the blade and what you've got. 01 tool steel and it's 5 30 seconds of an inch thick as you can kind of see right there he differentially heat treats and hardens these blades so the back is a little bit softer than the edge or the middle in this case probably the middle is a little sharp a little softer than the edges um, the back spine has a 90 degree so you can scrape with it you can use it on a ferro rod if you want to it's a saber grind. You guys can see that. The handle is micarta. It has a tapered tang. Mine is the green and black linen micarta with the, if you guys can see it, the red liners. One thing I think that sets Dave's knives apart from others that I've held is his handles. The grip is very very comfortable. Um, he puts enough handle on the knife so that you don't get any hot spots while you're using it. Um, like with most of my knives I use the pinky lanyard. Um, I, I like that it feels more secure but there is a little bit of a guard right here that prevents you from sliding forward. Mine came with the field gray uh, finish, and I've kind of, from sharpening it and stuff like that, I've kind of buffed that out a little bit. It's a little bit more shiny than it was initially. I use sandpaper on a leather strop to, uh, with like wood. Well, you guys have seen my Franken block. That's what I use to sharpen this. It holds an edge forever. Um, I've been doing all my daily tasks with this knife. Uh, I usually carry appendix style and it's totally comfortable there all day. Don't, well, most of the time I forget I have it on. So anyway, that's the specs on the blade. But the other thing I wanted to show you guys was this V2, the version two sheath that he makes. My big complaint with most not all, but most knife makers is that either the sheaths are uncomfortable, impractical, or are not ambidextrous. And for me, being left-handed, I need ambidextrous. Dave knocked this out of the park. 
he the the v2 design is so flexible and can do so many different things um, you've already seen this knife on my other videos attached to the wsk sheath i can attach the wsk sheath to my backpack probably four different ways that i can think of just off offhand um, this the sheath comes like this. Uh, you see these two holes right here and there? I can actually attach a little pouch for an Altoids kit uh, right here if I want to. This strap here I left on because if you want to, if you remove your belt loop, you can carry this scout style. And if you don't like the double thing here for scout style there is a single strap that will fit right over it as well um, so that way you just have two straps just like this one here one here everything's held together by really uh, high quality screws everything's all steel not that aluminum stuff and like the little things like the belt loop you can take it on and off Easy on, easy off, and you can adjust the height. As you can see right here, right now I've got it on the bottom one, but if I wanted to, I could run this right through the middle and carry it lower if I wanted. It just really fits, it fits around your gear and the way you want to carry it, and I, I appreciate that. So, if you want to carry this appendix style, just remove this. All that comes off, take a piece of 550 cord, stick it through this hole right here that goes all the way through, make a loop, and now you can carry an appendix, and that's what I've been doing. So anyway, I have really been enjoying this knife, and I'm going to hold on to it for a good long time. <laughs> so uh, I think right now what I'm going to do is we're going to get some bamboo and some pieces of wood around here and have some tea.
Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I've been wanting to do a review on this knife for a while. Um, it's just been so handy to use every day, and I think Dave did a marvelous job of just making a essential, everyday, usable knife, and I'm super happy with it. So, it was fun getting out here today, getting the Kelly Kettle started up, having a little bit of tea, and of course, enjoying the woods out here. But anyway, that's my review for the Beck Ceranic 4-inch Heavy Duty with the Sabre Grind. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it, and have a great day.